you know, it's interesting. One of the things that I've, that I've observed working for both large and small companies is large companies want to be small companies. They want to act like a small company. And so what I mean by that is a large company will often try to figure out how, how do we become more agile? How do we become more dynamic in the marketplace? How do we get closer to our customers? And small customers, uh, small companies always think, how do I get big? And so what are the, what are the, the ideas that I can work on that are going to resonate in the marketplace. And so it's, it's kind of an interesting dynamic and in that, you know, either when you're, when you're in a large or small company, there's a couple things like really understanding your customers, understanding the problems that they're encountering, obsessing on your customers rather than your competition. Um, and just the fact that, design matters, style matters, the user experience that your customers have matter. Those are, for me, the, some of the things that, regardless of the size of the company, really cut across and, and really differentiate your software. One of the things that we do is we really try to understand what are the problems that our customers are facing? What is it that they're trying to do? And so you need to, to put yourself in the personas that you're representing with your software. So, you know, our, our software is used quite frequently by, by uh, sales leaders and sales reps. And we try to put ourselves in the position of our customer to understand at the end of the day, what's going to make our customer and that specific persona successful. And, uh, and so we obsess on how do we make our customers, you know, how do they achieve their their quotas? How do they they exceed their quotas? How do they become just a, a shining example within within that uh, that company? And and so we think about that, and that's how we try to design our software. That's how we try to design the user experience.